boy wonder what up snackies welcome back welcome back welcome back guys <laughs> welcome back i have a guest today you guys do you want to introduce yourself hello world um <laughs> my name is kenneth bryant this is Kenny. Yo, I'm nervous. He is mad nervous. I'm nervous. Um, I have no idea why because he is definitely a talkative person. I'm, I'm, I'm very shy. What ever? And, and, and she has like 100,000 followers, and I, this is my my. I told her this is my big break. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous, bro. I, I really wish I did have that many, and I th so thankful that you're speaking that into existence. So you really <laughs> you really nervous? That nervous? You finna start sweating? I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we have some Sister Sarah's for y'all. And Kenny said he haven't eaten snow crabs in a while, so don't judge him. Please. But y'all, without further ado, let's snack. Let's do it. Alright. So I have the garlic. Do you want to taste like one of the garlic? I mean, I have the barbecue. Okay. You have garlic. Oh, okay. Um I also have my um sparkling water already poured it guys gotcha. i do not have my hot plate on gotcha. so kenny if you want to put yours up there okay. kenny has rum and cream cream just a cream little pineapple cream pineapple, pineapple yeah cream it's pineapple real and rum. Too. so okay. yeah if you want to taste one of my um barbecue ones knock yourself out okay. well, i'm going to start with the shrimp guys all right let me show you how the season side all right so i'm gonna show my uh so this is my garlic butter mm -hmm. okay mm. 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 That flavor mm -hmm. is just so good. So, good. Kenny is originally from. Mm. Oh, can't even talk. In bad, Miami. <laughs> I'm really from Miami. Miami Gardens. We met in Tallahassee mm -hmm. through our mutual friend, Mickey. Valera. <laughs> Malira, aka Malika. <laughs> <laughs> we not finna show you how we out her government now. <laughs> yes, we all went to fam you. The well, Ratless. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went to Florida State for undergrad, then I went to fam you for grad. Okay, school, we want to so. talk about we want to talk about I, your I undergrad. I gotta represent FSU too. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We didn't need it. We didn't need it at all. <laughs> Yo, this is good. Yeah. Mm. Kenny is a capo. <clears throat> oh, spicy too. <laughs> yep. So I pledged Florida State, um, Theta Eta chapter, Cap Alpha Psi, Fraternity Incorporated. Yo, new. Kenny is successful. I'm not. I'm trying to become successful though. Whatever. Bruh. You have a master's degree. So, I did. I got my master's from FAMU. I got my undergrad and master's from FAMU. And uh, I got my master's in public health. And then I started working for the CDC, the Center yes. for Disease Control. Yes. You remember? And, yes, because uh, you actually did an HIV test on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, a lot of my friends like, oh, can you test me? Can you test me? So, I did that for some years. And mm -hmm. finally, um, when I, I left, moved down here, yeah, that was like 20, 2012. That was 2012, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a good memory. And the funny thing about it is, Kenny was the person I stayed with for a whole month because I did move down here kind of not really on a whim. I had found a job, but I didn't have enough time to actually like look for a place. So mm -hmm. I hit Kenny up. He was like, Yeah, I barely be home anyway. And I think when I moved in, you actually was out of town. I was out of town, I used to travel. Quite a bit for work. Mm-hmm. And um it was good. It was a good time. It really was. And so I noticed that I wasn't really cooking, right? And you know, this is a man that allowed me to stay in his home until I find my own place. So one day I was like, Kenny, do you want me to cook? And he was like, uh, you can. And we <laughs> I 
bust out laughing because basically he was like, yo, your behind should have been cooking. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how I meant it. That's not how I meant it. You remember the one time I made them, um, them pork chops? Yes. Um, oh my gosh. I was just thinking about that. Those pork chops and we had what? Spinach, apple, cranberry, cranberry salad. Yeah, oh remember. my gosh. Yeah, I was trying to do something different. Yeah. I think that was like the only dinner we really had to get <laughs> the whole month. <laughs> the whole month I lived though. Mm. And um, so after, well, I was here about two years, and then I left and I went to headquarters in Atlanta, and I was there for yep. about four years. Cause I, I was sad to see you go. Yep. Cause when I got here, when I tell you, me and Kitty used to do a lot of stuff together. We did. We went to Art Basel. We did. We went to you. You you made me go with you to somebody. Um, a wedding. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends was getting married. Uh, uh huh. Damn. Mm hmm. Oh, excuse me. Am I allowed to say? Yeah, go on here. <laughs> am I allowed to say, they, say damn? Uh, <laughs> then he um. He picked me up from the airport late one time because he went to Miami Airport. I was at Fort Lauderdale. Oh, <laughs> and I had to race all the way. I'm like, I don't. And see I was you. mad. I was I mad, don't... angry. <laughs> I was like, I don't see. You, I don't see you. I'm like, I'm outside. I'm outside. <laughs> it was late at night too. Oh man, damn. She got good memory, y'all. But it's amazing because, like, when it comes to like my everyday stuff, like. I'm so forgetful but it's like when it comes to memories that really like was impactful with people mm -hmm. that I care about them though I, I, I tend to remember a lot <laughs> bruh oh man it was me and you when I first got here it really was mm-hmm and um so I want you friend and, here um, in Miami cuz I didn't know anybody else in Miami I knew somebody really? in Fort Lauderdale but you was the only person that I knew oh, um, wow. that was in Miami. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I could be a good host for a little bit. Well, you definitely was a good host though. Um, and so I left CDC in 2017 and I went to a medical school. So, <laughs> debt. <laughs> Hundreds of thousand dollars in debt. So, it's okay. Your season awesome. finna come. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Your season, your season oh, finna come. Sorry. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I'm going to my third year of medical school. Like, that's exciting, you know? And he done been in medical school all over the doggone country, y'all. They be traveling. I go to Ross University. One time for my Rossies. Uh, it's a Caribbean medical school. We used to be in Dominica. But we had a hurricane, Category 5 hurricane. and. I remember all that, so we end up going seeing to you like, all on Instagram. Like we, to leave. we don't have no power. <laughs> We've been out crazy. without power. That was after Hurricane Irma. It was. Oh, that was. We had that was Hurricane Maria for us. But, okay, that happened right after Hurricane right after, Irma. Uh huh. Yep. So. Yeah, that was horrible because we didn't have power for two and a half days. Oh uh, yeah, we ain't have power for. Oh, we were stranded on that island for like. Oh, so we had days. to come up here because the in-laws had power. They never lost power. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm. I always be jealous of people who do this. I be like, dang, that food is so good. Eat the snow crab? Just everything. I don't want to seem greedy, but I'm about to smash and leave you because you over there playing. <laughs> it's sausage, it's sausage and some mm, potatoes and corn at the bottom. Now, if you like sweet corn, you probably not won't like their corn because they just use the regular mm -hmm. corn. Yo, don't judge me. Please don't judge me. Can I try one of your barbecue? Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I'll trade you a, one of my barbecue. I mean, two of my barbecue, my two of my garlic shrimps for one of your barbecue shrimps. You I don't, don't gotta trade. You can eat. You can get it. I don't want to take all your good stuff though. Cause I know what they taste like. Mmm, feel good. What the? Um, hey, yeah, that's good. It really do taste like barbecue. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they barbecue, good. ain't nobody got no barbecue seasoning like them because I try to get some um Louisiana <laughs> barbecue seasoning. Mm -hmm. It was not it. Me and Mike had did the seafood mm. board on that. It wasn't it. It wasn't it at all. I really do taste like barbecue. Mm -hmm. That was good. So 
This ain't bougie palace channel, okay? <laughs> you can't shake snacks. <laughs> they know I get down with these, um, with this seafood. Yeah, you do. I'm trying to eat. You're the one that inspired me. Listen, he was like, I'm in town. <laughs> and let's get up. And then and Kenny was trying to get uh, get up the very next day. <laughs> mm hmm. I've been waiting for him. I don't know. Everybody, if you come to Miami for a lot of that Palm Beach, just come on down to Sister Sarah's. Get you a plate. You would not be disappointed. Nope. And it's affordable, in my opinion. I, I agree. Like, I don't have a problem paying, like, mm -hmm. decent, like, what people can. Oh, first of all, seafood is expensive. It is. You know, so as long as it's worth it, it's good, then I don't have a problem spending it. I feel like you can you can spend this um you can spend more than this easily mm -hmm. at Red Lobster and the flavor ain't yeah. as bomb. Mm -hmm. This that good old old fashioned type flavor. So we decided to do a topic. We was trying to brainstorm on which topic we actually wanted to do. So. We chose the one that I think was good because it was like a male perspective and a female perspective, right? Mm hmm So the question slash topic is, what would you do if, wait, did we say number two or number one? See how I'm having Dora moment? Well, the girlfriend thing, right? What was it, the sexy thing? Either one, like, so let's start, we could, we could probably do both. You know, we could probably do both, cause it's been 13 minutes. Yeah, we probably could do both. Cause one might lead into two. So, ah, oh, yes. You know? So, what would you do if your spouse, maybe your girlfriend, your boyfriend, husband, wife, thought that you were beautiful, but didn't think you were sexy? And how would that make you feel? Well. How would that make me feel? First, so my first question is, you know, I would define, well, what does beautiful mean? Because beautiful could be different things to right. different people. And versus like sexy, you know, because, okay. you know, you know how you see some like older, like people who've been married for like 40 years and mm -hmm. stuff like that, where, the, you know, the man still finds his wife like, baby, I, you know, you're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like since the first day I met you, but mm -hmm. like, I mean, really like, She's now 70 and she's still sexy to him. Right, you right. Know? So, but we, we, I mean, of course, we're talking about young people. Now, I mean, now we're going to take it back to young people. Right. Uh, Y'all been married for, let's say, five years. Mm -hmm. He still finds you beautiful or she finds you beautiful, whatever that mm -hmm. means. And then, you know, but maybe you don't have that little six pack abs <laughs> that, that, just, that, that won her over, you know. I mean, hopefully. You know, it's you know, it's more substance. Image don't matter, right, right. To where he would wanna like leave, but or she would wanna leave. But um So the question is what would How would you, you feel? How like how would yeah. Would it like would it like crush your self esteem? Um would it like motivate hmm. you to be what they wanted or what they found appealing and sexy? Uh I think it would encourage me to dig a little deeper, first of all, to find out, like, what do you define as sexy, right? Well, mm -hmm. let's just say, for example, when we first got married, I, you know, you was, uh, I don't know, you know, you had, you know, you Long had, hair. Yeah. Slim some, body. Yeah, like, all long that stuff, hair. Yeah, all that, thick whatever. Thick body. Yeah, whatever that person found to be sexy, mm -hmm. you know, because for some, some guys, it, you, you don't have to have like the biggest chest and all that right. stuff, you know, whatever, whatever you found. And now those things are no longer quite as what they used to be. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you go back to trying to get that? Or is it like, well, you still find me beautiful, but we in this for the long haul. 
you know, so. Like you ain't finna leave me just right. cause you don't find me sexy. So right. how should I feel? You know, I, what I, what, how would I feel? I don't know, it's hard. You know, I'm, I'm single. I haven't been in a relationship in like forever. So, <laughs> and I prefer to stay that way. Really? Yeah, just cause school is rough. Like you see how- So you don't you have any type of dating life? Nope. You see how my, my classmates, some of my classmates do and I see them get in trouble all the time. Like people start failing like semesters and stuff like that. Cause mm. they get distracted. I just, if you, unless the person is already Excuse me, already in like in a relationship? Well, no, like, or already, in already like kind of in medicine, you know, as far as like when it comes to medical school, in, in my opinion. What do you mean they already in medicine? And so, say for example, let's just say you were single, right? Mm -hmm. And let's just say you had met this guy and he was currently in medical school, you know. Mm -hmm. Medical school is oh. demanding. Okay. You know, and if you're trying to build a new relationship, that requires a lot of time. A lot of energy, a lot of just uh, in, an investment that you just don't have mm. in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So somebody child outside streaming. <laughs> I hope y'all don't see that. I'm gonna hear it. I know y'all can't see it. My bad. I was trying to ignore it. <laughs> Shut up. See, he is not really shy, y'all. See, he done I, got comfortable no, and he I, didn't started with the jokes. No, look, I'm. I'm very shocked. I'm still shocked. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Like, yeah, it tastes good though. Kidding, I'm not playing with you. So, 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 so I'm saying, so I prefer it to stay that way just because I could just do what I got to do, mm -hmm. get on out of school, get and on then out. I can, I could kind of focus I can on I worry about like that later. That. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, where was I going with that? I you were going with unless you oh. dating somebody that's also in medical school which what well, as soon as you said that it made me think okay because you will they, they will be very compassionate and empathetic towards your schedule because they too would have that same schedule exactly and they already understand they what understand it, it to, yes yeah versus somebody who wouldn't or didn't have that couldn't really understand like no mm -hmm. i really am studying because mm -hmm. this is a lot of work yeah you know i, I got a lot of classmates who broken up um, or they get into relationships. I mean, they get divorces. Like new marriages get divorces and stuff like that because wow. people just can't take it anymore. Oh, you don't, you know, you, you don't spend time, all that stuff. And it really does take a toll on people's relationships. Mm. Um, and in addition to that, this kind of kind of goes back to our conversation where the whole beautiful, sexy thing. I don't know if you noticed, but if you ever look at somebody who started medical school. You look at their journey, like they might be skinny, but then like by the time medical school is over, they may have gained some weight. And that's because mm. you're sitting down, you're studying you all idol. the time. You know what I'm saying? So people just don't look the same way, you know, same way they used to. <laughs> so you're still beautiful, but you're not as sexy as you used to be. Gotcha. So, um, but I mean, but you're in it for the long haul. And that's how I look at uh, relationships. Like you're in it for the long haul. Right. But... If your spouse find you to be beautiful but not sexy, that doesn't mean that there aren't things that you can do to just maybe get back to. You don't have to be exactly back to where you used to be, mm -hmm. but but could you compromise with them yeah. to get something? Okay, if both you guys mutually agree with it. Mm -hmm. So okay, let's say if if it, if I had gained weight, if that was the issue, mm -hmm. now I got a pot belly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe they're. <laughs> I don't. You know, I don't. But if I did, then I'll tell, okay, then okay. Maybe there are some things I could do to like cut back on. Mm -hmm. like, I can actually get into the gym or try to work out or something. Mm -hmm. You know, because even though yeah, like we love each other, but it's but at the same time, you know. There is some level of physical, you know, you still attracted, but like, mm. you know. I get what you're saying. I, I don't want to sound shallow, but like it's a, you you got with that person because you found that person to be physically attractive, mm -hmm. right? And now this person is sort of, they're still a beautiful person, right? You're still attracted mm -hmm. to them, but they're sort of kind of loose. Maybe losing what mm -hmm. that initial sexual appeal that drove you towards that person. And right. so now, you know, you kind of... You know, 
it doesn't hurt to kind of get some, try to get some of that back. Or back, work, work right. towards getting some of right. that back, you know. To get that old um, thing back. Yeah. To put that spice back into yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Now on the flip side, since we said that question one could kind of lead into question two. Right. With all of that was going on, and then you found out that your spouse was texting their ex, mm -hmm. but the ex was in another state. Yeah. So, it depends. Now, do they normally text their ex? Is that something that is allowed in our relationship? Mm -hmm. Like, are they, you know how some people have exes that they're still friends cool with? Cool with, yeah. So, it depends on the context. Are they still cool? Gotcha. If they are not cool, and this is just something I just came across, mm -hmm. well, what is the content of the conversation? Okay. Right? Okay. Um, so, content matters. Content matters. Do I know about it? Or is it a surprise? Like, if I didn't know about it. Mm. You know, because if it's if it's like oh surprise, I was going through well, I, that's I a answered their phone and that's a problem, right? So the ex was calling. That's a problem. Um, if I don't want to change the subject here, but let's say uh, no, I'm not even gonna go there. But <laughs> but uh, go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. But I was gonna say, what if the person found out that, like, you gave the example of, oh, I was the, the ex was calling and, and I picked up the phone versus like, you actually went through this person's phone, and that's something that y'all don't normally do on a basis, or or is that you know like, you maybe you happen to go through his phone. It could be all variables, really, when you think about it, because there's multiple ways to find out. Um, but, um, uh, some people relationships, they have each other's cell phone passcode, you know what I'm phone. saying? So, so in that, in that case, and then I find you're, out, you're done now. <laughs> that your, if you got the code. Your ex, should, your ex should not be texting you unless that is allowed in y'all. Unless y'all cool. Again, just depend on the content. On, on the content. If, now, I'm, I'm going I'm to throw a, a, a wrench in there and I'm going to mm -hmm. say, yeah, we're going to have to restart the video because it's going to be getting this on. What if um you didn't know that this was going on, but when it comes to the, yeah, I... I'm trying to slow down because these three gonna be gone. Well, you can share with me. Um, no, not for like just not to show you off, cause <laughs> <laughs> I be cracking and moving. But what if you found out and not necessarily that you had a problem with it, right? But that ex actually was an issue before. We back, y'all. So, even though, clearly, if this person caused issues in the past, that all on my lid, even though this, even though this person have caused issues in the past, clearly they know who you are, so it ain't like they oblivious. It ain't like, oh, he was lying about being in a relationship or nothing. But... Yeah, my issue will solely be with him, and it will—it will, it course, will really. Yeah. It, I think it will crush my self-esteem. Absolutely. Like. Again, it depends on. First of all, if the person has caused an issue in the past, mm -hmm. y'all should not be communicating, right? Like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm a—I'm a pretty patient person, so I, I really try to seek to understand first before I just like get really upset as to like why are you talking to this person? Da da da. Let me find out first. You know, maybe, maybe there was a death. I don't, I, I don't know. So let me find out first what exactly. So that would be it. excusable if there was like a death in their family and you was like, and they was consoling them. That would be. <laughs> if, again, it's based on the Senate, possibly. I'm, I'm not sure, right? But, but it also depends on. Again, did you let me know up front? If you let me. So know in that front, situation, it would be a, a matter of secrecy. It feels like a death in their family and they was consoling them. If you knew about it, you would be more inclined to so say, okay, yeah. Yeah, because yes, now I'm, you should. I'm, I'm, I'm empathetic towards yeah, it. Yeah, because you're showing me that 
that I can trust you that mm -hmm. one that I have nothing to worry about mm -hmm. you know that's that's so the, the whole the talking to the three. ex thing yeah the whole talking to the ex thing is really not a big big deal to me as long as you upfront about what's actually happening but if we're talking about somebody who we're talking about an ex who just has complete disrespect for your relationship they're one of those well, I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get her anyway you know mm -hmm. you know then that's that's problematic that's yeah that's the problem uh, and so, uh, and who initiated the conversation? Was it you? Mm. Was it your partner or was it the ex? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if it was the, the ex, I can't control the ex, you know, doing, excuse me, initiating the conversation. I don't but, care who initiated the conversation. <laughs> you entertained it. We got problems. You entertained it, but we got a bigger <laughs> problem if you initiated it. Mm. I need to find out why. I need to. Would well, that bigger problem potentially lead to splitting up? It depends on the situation because I feel like I've seen relationships where that has happened. Um, there was no physical interaction. As a matter of fact, people weren't even in the same state. Mm -hmm. You know, and they. I too. Talking about me. <laughs> what? I've seen that happen, but. Um, in a relationship. Yeah, in a relationship. And it's like. But no, no type of physical anything has happened, you know. So it's mm -hmm. like, it's a, it's a, it's a. If it's a once occurrence, okay. All if right. it happens again, we, we. I mean, we got a problem the we first time, but we got a problem the second time. We definitely, you know, like. We're and thinking again, about splitting up this second time. Really, but you, but the, I mean, but it's your spouse. You know what I'm saying? Like. What is? But I need to see. I got to. I need to know exactly. See, I like details. Okay, so let me create exactly some details. Like what if? Happened. Okay, say for instance, you didn't know it was happening. If I did not know it was happening, okay. You didn't know it was happening. Uh, your spouse. You're not sure who started the conversation. Okay. But you saw the text messages and they were inappropriate. Okay. Like sending pictures to each other, oh, not okay. like sexual pictures okay. or anything like that. Okay. But say for instance, they were sending pictures to each other. Um, oh, just coming from the gym or something. Or yeah. Like yeah. Or oh, or them they compliment each other. Oh, you always been sexy. You always been cute. Oh, well, that's an appropriate conversation. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's a problem. So I don't think. If it's a repeated pattern, time and time again, again, I'm a pretty patient person. Okay. But patience wears thin, right? So if it's once or twice, I need to know, like, why is it Why is it happening? Right? What is it about our relationship that's... Not working for yeah, you. Yeah, right. So... So where you have to reach out to somebody. Is it something about me? Am I beautiful but not sexy? Mm. You, know, you know? You brought that you know, all the way back. So, you know, you know, what's like, what's the issue? And so I would want to work on the issue, you know, but. You wouldn't just automatically call it quits. No, uh-uh, not at all. Cause I, I do believe in, if we said we, we're married, I do believe that's for a lifetime. That's how I. I agree. I, I, do, I do agree as for, I mean, you ain't gonna let nobody walk all over you now. They just cheating on you left and right. Right. You wouldn't ever get. But would, it, would, your, would, your, would your answer change if it was somebody you was just dating? It, it wasn't your spouse. It well, I said spouse. I use that term okay. loosely. Okay. okay. If this is somebody that you're not married to. Yeah. Um, I would still give you the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I would still like try to find out what's going on. Uh, but if, let's just say, you still... And if we're limiting this to texting, is that, that mango what bubbly is good. I was gonna say this is good too. This cranberry pineapple with a little Mexican rum, just a just a <laughs> splash from the Mexican mommy. This is this is really good. I definitely will next time I entertain guests, which is never. I will have this on my list of things like. Well, I am really good. Here, here. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. But I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to sound like nobody's therapist or psychiatrist here or anything like that, but 
if it you know if it happens like two or three times we, we three three but that's what i'm saying what's happening is it limited to texting so you know what y'all i think i'm just crazy okay. like well I don't, like mike do tell me mr snacks do tell me y'all i'm crazy but i think that I think that I would definitely be like broken hearted because I'm just emotional like that. Like mm. I'm very sensitive. Mm. Very, very much so sensitive. Um, but then the cause since I like to call myself bougetto, mm -hmm. I feel like the bougie side of me will be all crying and boohooing, and then the ghetto side of me will be trying to knock his head off his body. Because I am sensitive, so I do have that emotional aspect. Mm -hmm. So I'm I don't I don't know. I mean, but would I want to work it out? If I was married, yes. Okay. If it was a spouse, it was just a boyfriend, I'm not sure. Because believe it or not, I never had a boyfriend prior to my husband. I talked to dudes, mm -hmm. went on dates. Yeah. But I never had a uh, this... boyfriend. I never gave anybody a title. So. So I wouldn't even mm, know how mm. I would really handle that because I never had that. You wanna help me out with this? Boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, seriously. This you only got three love. No, help me out, seriously. Help you got three love. This is I mean it's good. I'm enjoying it very much. Thank you, sister Sister Sa You you will not disrespect them. <laughs> you won't just <laughs> What you're not finna do is come in my home <laughs> and disrespect Sister Sarah. <laughs> sister Sarah, thank you, Sister Sarah. This is good, Sister Sarah. I'm just joking, Sister Sarah. This yeah, he's really just good. joking. No. Um. But uh, no, I get what you're saying. Uh, right. As far as you know, you don't want to be hurt repeatedly. Right. Um, and I think I'm just sensitive as crap, so I just. Truthfully, I didn't have the best example when it comes to relationships. Mm. Growing up, mm -hmm. so for me, and the reason why I said I didn't have the best uh, example, my mother and father, God bless their heart, they have been together off and on. How old am I? I'm 33. 25. Oh, I am 25. <laughs> I'm 25, and um, they have been together off and on for 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 23 years. Wow. Cause my father met my mom when I was two. He's not my biological father, mm -hmm. but he's the only father I know. Off and on. So yes, I know what a good relationship can be. What soulmates are. Cause mm -hmm. I, 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 I truly believe that my parents are soulmates. I just feel like they met each other in the wrong lifetime. Mm. Cause even when they split up, they the best of friends. Mm. Like they have that kind of bond. Mm -hmm. So are they are they legally married? No. Mm. So it's like the common law kind of marriage. It ain't thing? even common law no more because Florida took that away. But yeah. Mm. Okay. They were about to get married at one point, and then it just it didn't happen. My mom just was like, she's straight. Well. But they talked about it and stuff. But that kind of scared me. Mm. Now that was weird. What was that? It sounded like a witch, right? Yeah. So I don't know, like that not knowing that kind of scared me. So I, I think I would be over I would overreact. Because of mm. what I observed growing up. Yeah, I think you bring up an interesting point also. It's just like having like model relationships in the home. Mm. You know? Yeah. To, to know what a real but good relationship look like a healthy a healthy because you know and healthy in the sense of you know it's not going to be perfect but we're going to have it's our working. arguments mm -hmm. yep but we know how to talk you through mm -hmm. you know you know we know how to be civilized there's no that resolution yeah ain't nobody hitting on nobody there's no um you know just cussing each other out talking to each other like dolls you know, you you ain't never been. <laughs> shit, you ain't never gonna be. Shit, you know, all that stuff like that. You know. You a elf boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Woo, child. That, that's 
That's what y'all young folks do these days. <laughs> that's what these kids see. Them. That's what them 18, 17, <laughs> not us 25 year olds. <laughs> Kenny! Um, but, um, no, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I feel like, man, I'm different. I'm, I'm a patient person. I really am. Um, but I, I am, but, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm also emotional. You know, they say cancer is emotional. Oh, my birthday is July 5th, y'all. It's coming up. I'll be, I'll be a big old 30. You need to get you a, you need to get you a Pisces. Oh, uh, oh, cancers go with Pisces? I didn't know that. What? I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. All the reason why Outside I know. Outside of cancer, I don't know nobody else stuff. Mike, Mr. Snacks is also a cancer, y'all. His birthday is July 18. What? All right, Mike. Mm-hmm. Is, so, can, can we according about? to the Zodiac, mm -hmm. they say Cancers and Pisces are and what, very compatible. When is Pisces? You know that? Mm -hmm. February. February until March. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. is, so, uh, is uh, Mike uh, a guy? It, oh, well, what I know, of, I know why you're patient. Because what I've noticed about um, Pisces, I mean, Cancer. Yeah, that. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Where are you like a, a Gemini? Who? A Pisces? I said I'm a Pisces. Don't be calling me no Gemini. And don't be saying what that or uh, that that <laughs> when you talk about cancer. Anyways, um the thing about um cancers is that you guys when you guys actually are devoted, when you guys are, when you guys make those relationship bonds, may it be um, personal, platonic, um, mm -hmm. intimate, y'all really hang on. Like, it takes mm -hmm. a lot to really break y'all down mm -hmm. to where y'all be like, okay, I'm done. Like, mm -hmm. that was the final straw. Mm -hmm. We can't have this friendship, relationship, nothing anymore. I got a lot of cancer friends, and I completely agree, myself included. I, yeah, I completely. Agree. So I definitely understand when you say I I am a patient person. I can definitely understand that. Pisces are dreamers. Um, we kind of we create these like our own little worlds, mm. and then we're just in it. Like so, sometimes. I think what I struggle with is that I create this fantasy in my mind mm -hmm. and then if it doesn't live up to my actual reality, mm -hmm. my expectation, mm -hmm. it's a cha it becomes that challenge that I got to navigate through. Mm -hmm. like, Cause I didn't expect this. Mm -hmm. This is not what I thought this was going mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is getting deep y'all. Um, I don't think if it's enough video to really go into this conversation. It like won't, that. but we can do another video before you go. Y'all, Kenny, doing school in here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm here temporarily about four more weeks. So yeah, we definitely do it. So we definitely video. got time. Yeah. And we could, you could choose another place this time. Mm. Have you had crap, crafty crab? Mm mm. It's right around the it's right around the corner. Okay, good. So we could do a crafty crab. They have seafood too, but they have like spicy. Wait, what? How do you do? You like spice? I don't. I like a little spice to give it a little character, but oh, character, <laughs> character, <laughs> baby. We using them degrees, honey. Look, my roommate. Sh <laughs> Shout out to my roommate Effu. <laughs> my old roommate Effu. She used to watch. Uh, we were studying, and she used to watch. Uh, what's that? Food Network. Um, oh. Um, the chop. chop, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I got that from. Gotcha. I, I don't. My cooking is so boring, y'all. Chicken, rice. And vegetable. I am not a fan of chicken. They know that. The snack is not. I'm not a fan of chicken unless it's like I'll eat wing stop. I have noticed that I really do love wing stop. Mm. Their wings. They, as long as they fry hard, I, I like wing stop wings. But well, I'm not really a fan of chicken. Nothing. Yeah. I love what? chicken. I eat chicken every day. Ew. Mm. Every day? I used to, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, what you eat every day. Seafood. Well, I mean, you got money. Mm -hmm. Baby, you go get you some bulk items from Sam's and Costco, and you good to go. Oh, you cook it? Mm -hmm. Mike cooked me some curry shrimp the other day. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, curry shrimp, broccoli. And you invite me over? I'm sorry. 
And then... That was so fake. <laughs> oh, I am real. I am not fake and funny. That's okay. She, she, she'll, she'll give you business now. No, but I... I, I I wasn't even thinking about you, to be honest. I'm so sorry. No, I appreciate that. It's okay. But definitely, we have to have a couple of more meetings before you leave. Yeah. A couple of more meetings. It would be bomb to get all three of us on. If we could do all three of us on video. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that would be cool. But y'all, it has definitely been a good conversation. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And, you know, I know so some too. of y'all ain't make it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all clicked off me. I was like, oh no, I can't do this. This no. video is too long. It's taking forever. But I appreciate y'all for even clicking on the video. I really do. Oh, it's too. much, much appreciated. I love you guys so very much. And y'all know I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.